guys, welcome to another episode of Zenobutton. Today, I, took, I started taking some uh, videos actually of uh, my locals. I'm playing Piccolo Blue Green Hand Destruction. And, uh, my buddy Julian over there is playing uh, Starter Green Broly, who's uh, made a bit of a comeback, uh, or he's able to, I should say, with a, make a bit of a comeback with the, some of the cards from the new set. Uh, sorry, it started a little bit. I started filming a bit into the match, but nothing really happened. I just charged a multicolor. And uh, he just played the one drop role and took some life. So, pass back to me. I'm doing the uh, Piccolo ability. And at this point, I'm just trying to dig for Android 17s because in this matchup, I'm primarily going to be wanting to play defense. Um, and I'm also going to be wanting to keep uh, primarily make sure I only have green energy or blue green energy available because of that cell Kamehameha. Uh, that card's pretty huge. And if you have any non green energy, you can't get the. Uh, you, you're not able to steal a card from it. So pass back to him with my two energy open. Um, once again, I'm going to be playing like a little bit of defense. Uh, where, where it comes important against Broly and a lot of aggro decks is... I did take that one, but you want to try to out-combo some of the 10Ks if possible. Just because it's a lot easier to drop a 5K from hand than it is... Uh, I just sense my leader here. I think I wanted to get a little bit of a draw, but now at least I'm kind of defending myself a bit. Um, and then yeah, you just pass them on back. But yeah, you want to make sure you combo out of those like quick 5Ks, um, and you don't want them to really add up into something menacing. You know, rather it's much harder to combo out of like a 30K triple strike than it is just a 10K. Once again, I just keep playing those Vegeta the Cruels. I probably should have kept some of those, um, especially if he goes into the four drop. Um, it does help him up the chain, but he does have to warp some cards, and if he doesn't have the 6 drop, it's a pain. Uh, there, I tried just swinging at one of the 10Ks, because he's at 4 life, and if I blow up one of those 1 drops, he has to take at least 1 or 2 life. Unfortunately, he negated it with the Roshi, uh, and then I just passed. Uh, once again, uh, Piccolo Hand Destruction. This is, was one of my first tournaments really playing it. Um, it's a really solid deck, but it's kind of weird. You don't really do much. You kind of just are playing defense. I hate to say that it's similar to Janemba, but it is similar in that regard, where you just charge and pass. Um, and so he's just comboing up, uh, he swung in with the one drop. Uh, I think he's just trying to build up his sparking at this point, and uh, I'm just playing the Android 16, just to once again play some defense. I don't know if that was the best play, but I'm at 6 life and I'm trying to not get down super low. He did a tragic awakening there, uh, he was, I guess he was struggling to find some of the pieces, so he went into the 6 drop there. Now making it just honestly kind of a mistake really to uh, for me to really play any battle cards. There I play Sacrifice, which is, uh, if you don't know, it's just a negate. If your leader's in a Mechian, you can just pay one life and negate any attack. So that card is super clutch, uh, especially with the green Roshi battle card where you can grab a green extra card from the drop. You can just basically keep cycling through your combos. Here, he's just swinging with lead, he awakened, and he just is comboing two cards just to uh, keep the pressure going. I'm getting down, uh, see I'm down to five life now, so he's starting to kind of pick away at me. Here is where I'm just, once there, I finally got my Android 17. But yeah, I'm just really trying to play defense, basically waiting for Broly, as with most aggro decks. Let them just kill themselves, and then you kind of go in. There, I was just looking at the card, just being like, Oh, what does he do again? I believe he drops two cards, then he can KO any card. So, usually I don't play too many battle cards with the hand destruction, but at this point, I'm just trying to, you know, make sure I don't fall into any traps. Here, I'm swinging at the 10k, because once again, he's at four life, right? There's the Roshi that if it's in the drop, you pay one energy, you send it to the warp, you can grab a green extra card. But I'm just trying to do a little bit of pressure. Um, I want him, he takes two cards in life, right? And then he plays the four drop, and that's what I wanted him to do. And I just hidden potential did so he doesn't get the auto, nothing happens to it. So, um, I'm just trying to get him to, once again, whittle his life down, really. Um, I believe I grab uh, the sacrifice in the gate, and then I'm probably going to pass here, just because I want to leave some energy open for defense. And he does have a double striker on board. Um, so I pass... Julian's going back up. If you can see his hand a little bit, he has that green-yellow Gohan, and that, that's part of the reason I wanted to put this uh, video up, just because Starter Broly kind of went out of the meta a bit, and honestly, with some of the new green-yellow cards, with Arrival and everything, it's just another way for you to cheaply blow up your cards, 
and just get a big boss monster here. Here, I was, I think I was, I had the sacrifice, but I'm trying to think. Uh, I might have missed it. I don't know if I negated it or not. I think I just took the double strike because I wanted to get myself down to three for the uh, activate ability, and I also wanted to save some of my uh, my negates um, just in case. You know, I'm trying to keep the secret rare in mind, but uh, yeah. There's the cell. Uh, I just ripped a card, probably ripped a pretty useless card, and then he just passed. So this is a, you know, I played Broly a pretty decent amount. I played a good amount when he was, like, the prevalent uh, leader in the meta, or one of them at least. And I always find it weird, like, how to play against him, because he's, like, you want to blow up the cards, but if he, if you can't blow up two of the chain, like, so for instance, he has a six drop out. If I can't blow up the six drop and the eight drop, like, I don't really know if it's worth it just because it's risky. Um, I just paid one energy and I grabbed, I believe, a hidden potential back just using another Roshi. But yeah, it's like if you can't blow it up multiple times, like sometimes it's not really worth doing. And then, you know, it doesn't even matter. Even the hand destruction is not great against Broly because he's just going to plus his hand back up to six. So it's like, it's a bit of a weird matchup um, to go through. And then, yeah, just dealing with that 25k double strike, you know, even with that cell Kamehameha. There, I use the, the sacrifice because I really don't want to go down to one. Um, but oh, did he just pass again? <laughs> so I'm still on awakening at this point because I'm still just trying to keep grabbing the gates and just keep plussing up my hand. Um, and I have like a pretty decent sized hand. I don't really remember what I have. It seems like I got some Senzu beans. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm. I'm just trying to ramp up just because at this point, you know, maybe I'm trying to play the Vegeta Secret or. Um, I do run the Zamasu engine, which the indestructible, honestly, would have been pretty solid to get out. Um, and actually here, it's pretty funny. I, you don't hear the dialogue, but I charged that uh, Goku Black Rosé. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do the activate battle because you're going to blow it up. Julian's like, why don't you just hard cast it? And I just felt like an idiot because that's probably what I honestly should have done. Because I could have brought out the Zamasu and he's indestructible. So it's, it's pretty decent. And here I'm kind of just debating if I want to swing at the Broly or not just because I'd combo up to kill him but if he has the next step in the chain you know that that's always the the I guess the issue that I have with Broly if you don't have multiple ways to get to just murder those cards then um you're just gonna help him up the chain and then they're kind of set for the next turn you know they'll just plus up so you know if I have a way to get re you know remove the card then I usually try to take it out if not um but it's turning into a bit of a game of attrition, and usually the Broly player is going to win once I start running out of negates because they can just plus up to six, and he hasn't really filtered through his deck too, too much. Um, but, so I, I have a lot of energy up in defense. Unfortunately, I only drew into one Android 17, but that's just how it goes. You either draw all four or you draw one or zero. Um, and I think I just use the Dimension Magic. Uh, once again, just trying to play it safe. Don't want to go down too too much uh just because you know once if i once i get down to like one or two life you know he can just start dumping his hand on those like single strikes double strikes here he tries to bait out something and i was like oh i don't really care and then <laughs> and then he played that and i was like oh shit like i should have saw that coming i was like why would he play that um granted so i should have answered that somehow but you know i didn't and then, so that's where this play is, is super spice. That's why I want to show this deck. So he did successor. He killed that Broly. He brings out the A drop and he brings out the Gohan. So now he has a dual attack, triple strike, and he has that double strike that can blow up anything through K uh, KO anything, ignoring barrier. So that's a pretty huge threat. Um, once again, I probably should have tried to get a Zamasu on board because I don't think Green really has an answer to it. But he swings with the Gohan. He uses that Goku to restand the, the Gohan. So he's a dual attack, triple strike, and he's at 40k triple right now. I'm only at three life, so this is a lethal hit. I do need to out combo this, um, and I'm probably I'm thinking for a minute of what exactly to do. Um, let's see. So I play because I'm gonna have to awaken. So I want to play the special beam cannon just to not waste energy. I put two hidden potential underneath, and I'm kicking myself because I definitely should have hidden potential that Paragus because he wouldn't have been able to do the Gohan play. And then now it comes down to. Call it. Yeah, I use the hidden potential to give myself an energy. Then I combo with Android 18, the blue green. I don't think he has any cards in hand. I have to 
use that Vegeta, and I'm thinking of who to blow up because I'm like, he with the Broly can blow me up, but I don't think he has enough cards in hand to blow up my Vegeta. So I was kind of just talking, you know, we're, we're just figuring, doing a little bit of strategy. I'm thinking like, who should I really blow up? I don't know why it took me so long, but the Gohan was the, the one to blow up because I don't want to deal with two triple strikes and he didn't really have the cards in hand. I just didn't realize he didn't have that many cards in hand, so he'd have to swing with leader and then I already got the effect with the, uh, the Vegeta, so I don't even care if it blows up. However, I did ramp up too and I wound up ramping a blue Senzu Bean, so that turned off the drop a card ability with my Cell Kamehameha, which sucks a bit. I probably shouldn't have gotten greedy with charging, but... You know, I was like, whatever, at this point, I might as well just beef my uh, energy up as much as possible. And then I think I just comboed out of the leader swing there, and he swings with his double strike here. And here's where I got a little bit greedy. I should have played it safe, because I was a little worried about the secret rare, but I was like, eh, like, what are the chances he drew into it? So I take a life, and I untap two, um, just so I can plus it. I'm like trying, yeah, he just blows himself up. And then here, he... Uh, he brings out the secret rare and this is where I realized I made a massive mistake because I didn't have any more negates he has no cards in hand so I'm able to like combo out of the first one and I get a bunch of energy but this is what kind of the downside is when it comes down to uh, using the Android 18 super combo like I just you, you draw a decent amount with the leader but like you're just not really able to like plus up your hand in sometimes those critical moments um but it was a pretty cool match. I definitely uh, enjoyed it, even though I lost at the end. I, I shouldn't have been so greedy. Um, I think I would have been able to maybe maybe cinch out a victory if I if I played as a Masu. Um, which, yeah, if I played as a Masu who had double strike and I was able to just kind of dump my hand and there's really nothing he could do. But that's just going to come... I'm still new to that deck and you know I haven't played Broly in, in a hot minute. So uh, it was a good learning experience. Uh, but I just want to thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to press that Zeno button.